Hello kids, welcome to our channel Minute Sciences. Kids, in the last video we have learned that what is the skill of questioning and today in this video we are going to learn that what kind of questions do scientists ask? Who is a scientist? How we can be little scientist by asking questions to explore our surrounding. In the description box I have listed few books that can really help your child to enhance questioning skill, the vocabulary and the reading skills of the child. Because these books are oriented to develop the questioning skills in kids only. I hope it helps. Today we will focus on the idea of asking question. What type of questions we should ask? But before that, let's discuss the homework given in the last class. I told you to learn names of four yellow flowers and four white birds. So, the different yellow flowers which you can find in your surroundings are the beautiful sunflower, yellow roses, marigold, chrysanthemum, dahlia, and daffodils. Daffodils are flowers, kids. Let's Discuss someday. White birds, white pigeon, pelican, cattle egret, and white ibis. These are some white birds generally found in your surrounding if you have some water reserves there. I hope you have your personal diary with you. Okay, very good. Kids, I'm going to show you some beautiful big images or small images. And in those images, you have to keep yourself very active because you have to find out differences in the images. You have to compare the images. Okay? Oh, what a beautiful animal. What is the name of this animal? It's elephant, ma'am. Everybody knows. Okay, fine then. Tell me what other things you can observe in all the four images. What are the different questions that are coming to your mind? What is the name of this animal? Can you point out what are the differences between the four pictures? Are these pictures the same or they are different? Try to compare the images. Try to compare their color, their size, the size of their ear, their tusk, their trunk, the head, anything. There can be some more observations which might be specifically coming to you and might not be coming in my mind, okay? Pause the video and try to find out the differences. Okay, now let me tell you. See, the, uh, this is an African elephant and the other one, the both pictures are of Asian elephant. African elephants generally have large ears and Asian elephants generally have smaller and round ears. If we talk about the African elephant's head, it's quite rounded in shape. And the Asian elephant, it is twin dome shape. Okay, this kind of shape, you can see it properly. Now try to compare these organisms with each other. You have to ask at least four to five questions. After observing and looking at these beautiful creatures, are they all same or they are different? Can you make out some differences by looking at them? Okay, pause the video and write down all the differences in your diary. Number one, you have to tell me where are they lying? Where are they walking? Where are they swimming? Which one is walking? Which one is swimming? Right? So we can say that this is a tortoise and this is a turtle. Tortoise walks on land. Turtle swims in water. What is the structure on both the bodies? This is a shell. The shell is of different shape in land. Tortoise, the shape of shell is different in both the organisms, right? 
there can be different question like how come these structures are different in two groups so what is the reason which one is land and which one is water animal okay then the claws so it means this is all basically on their habitats their body structures we are generally concerned with the shape and size of the body the different structures in the body the habitat to which it belongs there might be many many more questions we can frame after observing these images now look at this image here you can see a long wooden log what is this is it a bridge a cave a tree try to guess it if it is a bridge then there must be water on both the sides if it is a road there must be some concrete base but we can't find both of these things let's try and see whether it is a tree or a cave oh it's a very big big tree right how big is the tree you can observe there is a man standing in front of the tree and the tree looks such a giant so we can discuss about this tree in some video okay let's go to the forest and see the beautiful creations of nature the leaves have you ever seen a forest where all the leaves are of same shape same size same color there is so much variation in the shape size and color of leaves here you can see a red forest with red leaves here you can see a green forest with green leaves right now here you can find out there is a giant dragon waiting for the food to grab what are these plants this is also totally different plant Now, who painted these leaves? It's absolutely stunning, and these leaves—they are so beautiful. It means in nature only there is so much variation in the life, plants, and animals. Variation in the color, shape, size of these leaves. But this is what scientists, you know, work. They try and understand about the existence of new things. why the leaves are like this color why they are green elephants and the tortoises and turtles have different habits and habitats so everything needs to be questioned with why is how where when who so we have to focus on question framing techniques you cannot ask that why this is a leaf it's like quite absurd So scientists studies all plants and animals they follow all 5 w and 1 h to ask questions if you remember we have discussed that elephants can talk to each other through vibrations that travel via earth and the same technique we humans are using to locate the missing and trapped landminers if you all want to know about this concept let me know in comments i'll make a video on this So science is basically depending upon the work scientist conducts the new research scientist produced and it is all possible when they have a question in front of them right it is a process of generating ideas so what is science we have already understood in our previous videos you can find the link to the video in i button so try to ask questions which should have an answer not just two words yes or no but some explanation some very valuable answers are generated from very meaningful and constructive questions so can you see this image what is this animal or what is this you have to ask three questions on seeing this following image okay these three questions should be based on the 5 w's and 1 h technique of asking question it will be very helpful for you also if you are a scientist on which animal or plant you want to study think and write it in your diary that why you will choose this organism or a plant what you want to know about the animal what things or what concepts can you withdraw from the animals to have some advanced technology so in today's video we have learned about the 5 w's and 1 h technique of asking questions learning the art of asking questions understanding what kind of questions scientists ask 
And what are the new words which we have discussed? What, where, why, which, who, how, compare, difference, turtle, tortoise, leaves, many words. But the main concept is to learn to ask questions. Also, we have tried our best to go deeper into the variations in the forest, in the animals, right? Now, I'll give you a small assignment. Pretend that you are a scientist and you are in forest. Which animal or plant you want to study? You want to learn more about that organism or plant. This is your home. Kids, we will meet in next video. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe our channel. Share the video with your friends and families. Do press the bell icon for future updates. Okay, bye-bye. Have a nice day.